Uh, I first heard about this Wisconsin Digital Property Act maybe six months ago and I, I was like, geez, I, I don't hear anything more about this. And I thought, boy, this is something that, that uh, we, we really got to be aware of. Everybody's going to need to revise their will forms and their power of attorney forms for their clients. And this is just something that that's, the word's not getting out there uh, for folks. So what is the problem that we're facing today when someone comes in either to draft a will if we're planning ahead or after somebody passes? You have problems with how do you get in their phone or their computer? If, you're, if someone is a personal representative and they have to get things off of your computer, how do they do that? How are you going to find out somebody's computer password? That's a problem. Um, what about online accounts? So for example, a lot of people, you get a, a paperless um, statement. You don't, you don't get the bank statement anymore. It's not going to be in the trusty old gray file cabinet. It's going to be digital. So if you're the personal rep and you got to find the guy's bank accounts and what the account numbers are and all that so you can do the probate, how are you going to get into that? What's the password and what's the username to get into those bank accounts? Everybody has Facebook. Everybody has all kinds of pictures on Facebook or other social media. Um, and this is going to be even more of a big deal um, as, as the younger generation gets older and older and they start passing. What's going to happen when all of these pictures are on Facebook and the family wants to get into Facebook for pictures for the funeral? You know, how are, how are you going to deal with that? And if somebody comes into your office and says, Hey, we need to get somebody to get into Facebook to do that. How are you going to get somebody's username and password? Each one of these social media things has different rules, different regulations on how to get into these. Other examples of problems that people have. What about if your business has a blog and a has digital a website and things like that some businesses if someone isn't posting on there constantly if it that 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 will lose assets let's say rob has spent all kinds of money to get up to number one for um, janesville corporate attorneys through search engine optimization by having these blogs and all of this content going all the time on his his website and then all of a sudden he passes and all of a sudden there's no post going on, all of a sudden that's gonna drop down. That could mean his business is worth less money. So somebody has to get access to these passwords and usernames in order to do that. The moral of the story is that we all have to deal with digital assets. You don't wanna be that guy from 1988 still sporting a mullet, you wanna be up to date on these things and you do not neglect your digital assets. You need to get on top of this and this is something that we all need to modify our forms for.